Hello and welcome to Cutleaf. My name's Scott and I run my own production company in the southwest of England. If you haven't already seen my previous video, you can do so by clicking the link or tab just somewhere up here. It basically explores how I print my drone photography and what company I use. But anyway, jumping into the video, let's get started. So a lot of people ask me, how big can you print your drone photography work, especially on the Mavic Mini? And I think the answer to this is that you can print your drone photography work at any size you like, depending on how much quality you're willing to lose. Now, of course, as we all know, the Mavic Mini only shoots JPEG files, apart from the Mini 2, which now has the raw capability, which just opens up a whole new level of photography for beginners. So I recently had one of my biggest print orders. I have seen this one before, but I wanted to show you guys because you'd never have guessed that it was taken on the Mavic Mini. It's um, a fairly big panoramic, but before I show you that one, I just wanted to show you a few others that were taken. Uh, I think these are A3 and I've got an A2 as well to show you. But yeah, again, all of this is taken on the Mavic Mini. Neatly packaged, as mentioned before. Let's just go in ahead, open it up. And these are just a few orders that have come through on my online store. I might have to get rid of the green screen because it might affect the image. However, here we have a bird's eye view shot of... Um, it's called Battery Gardens and it's in Brixham. So this is on gloss paper. I'm trying to not get any reflection in there. But again, the quality is really good. It's nice, the colors are really good. And all this was edited in Lightroom and Photoshop. So I'll just show you one more time. So that's A3 Battery Gardens. We have another lighthouse on A3, again, Mavic Mini edited in Lightroom and Photoshop. Let's see if I can bring it a bit closer. And then we have a bird's eye view of the breakwater. And I love the colors in this one. Again, A3 and gloss. And now we have, um, so if you order through the website that I mentioned in my previous video, this is how it comes packaged if you order anything over the size of A3. And I'm just gonna go ahead and open this one up. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the A2 first. And this is of Frixham Harbour. So we're just getting close look at the quality on that it's quite a cloudy day so it's quite overcast getting as close as i can and again on a2 you're not losing much quality in the actual image and that's a fairly fairly decent sized print on a gloss paper and i think it's just brilliant but now for the biggest print yet it's on a metallic paper it looks incredible uh, and I'm excited to show you. So, this is taken on the Mavic Mini. It's 48 inches by 16 and it's off the breakwater at sunrise. And I'll just try to get a little bit closer. You look at the paper. I don't think video can quite do this justice. It's hard to show, but look at that. It's, I'm actually quite speechless looking at it in the camera. I wish you could see it in person. It's just amazing how big you can actually print from the Mavic Mini and still have a lot of quality in the image. Just amazing. Get closer. There's no noise whatsoever in the picture. And a lot of this comes down to the editing process with the image, which I'm gonna cover in a video this week. 
again, I'm really impressed with the Mavic Mini. I'm really impressed with the print supplier that I use. So yeah, I'd love to see some of your work. Comment down below your Instagrams. I'd love to check it out. Love to check out your prints or what supplier you use or how big you've printed. So the next video coming out this week is how I edit my Mavic Mini photography. So stay tuned for that. It's coming out this Wednesday at 6 p.m. So thank you very much and I'll see you then.